Hello everyone, it's June 5th, 2012, it's Tuesday, it's Harp Tuesday! And this week I'm going to conclude my in-depth look at uh, my own composition, Passage. So, we left off about midway through, and instead of playing this whole bit, I've actually uploaded a uh, video of of me playing the entire piece and so hopefully right now you're seeing a couple links one of them which will take you just to the start of that to the whole video and another link should hopefully take you to um, to this middle section where we left off so you can click on that and it'll open in a new, in a new window and listen to what I'm gonna be talking about and then we'll come back and discuss it so we left off here at this start of this tranquilo section and this is fairly straightforward in terms of the notes. It's not too hard to play. This. Um, and note there that that time the, the grace notes are actually on the beat everywhere else there before. And it, it moseys its way along. And here you can do, just muffle these as you go down to try to bring them out a little, little bit because it's easy for them. It's easy for them to get lost a little bit and it just helps make things a little cleaner so you're doing you know muffling with a thumb as you play too and we get this little thing again so the, well, let's finish it off So the important thing in this section is it's not difficult to play so you can spend some time thinking about what you want to do with it in terms of the phrasing and and it's all again there's quite a lot of freedom throughout this and you can you can stretch things and try to make it as as tranquilo try to make it as sort of peaceful as possible and we just have but at the same time not having it become too slow or boring it's still and that's the trick sometimes with a slow passage is to make it feel slow so that we don't feel as if we we're being rushed so that we feel as if we have all this time we're just sort of floating but at the same time that it's moving forward that we don't get a sense of oh when is this going to be over that that there's still that, that there's still movement even though it's quite slow so and just playing around with, you know, stretching a little bit. You know, a little bit of... Not much, but you can play a little bit around with that. And then we get... It's not a huge but not a flat so just a nice and winding our way, winding our way down again And then 
we get another of these little sections where the left hand is playing um, harmonics while the right hand's got a little little thing going on on top. And again, the thing to think about for the left hand is just remembering when they're natural and when they're flat. So a little lower, sorry. And I missed that F because I forgot to bring it down a little bit. And then now we're into this slightly more energetic section, basically we're, we're double the speed for a moment, or I could have written this uh, so that we're not actually getting faster. It's just that, you know, instead of writing these as um, eighth notes, I could have written them as 16th, I guess. But anyway. Um... So nice and powerful. We, we've had all this sort of moody stuff going on, so now here's a moment to go ahead and let, let it shine and let things be nice and, and strong, and we let that come through, and then uh, it gets slower again. Uh... Oh, sorry. So let's just do that again. section of excitement and then it's going to wind its way down and this little section here is a little tricky the so it may, may require just a little bit of a little bit of work there and we get back to our old friend And now finally it changes slightly. We have this uh, F flat. And with an E flat on top, and going to this F. And now we get this little, this, I marked it Mysterioso. It, 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 so you kind of want to creep in this. So again, we, there can be a bit of an acceleron though there, and also the way it's written, there's a natural increase in intensity because we start with these triplets. And then we get four. And then five. Uh, sorry. No, we got six, that's right, we got six. Seven. And here it can calm down a little bit and we can we can back off the that accelerano, we can back off the tempo a little bit. We we we've, we've kind of we've reached the peak and now we can just enjoy this this Um, so in there, like when we get to the sevens, it's four, three, two, one in the slide. Oh, yeah, so four, three, two, slide, one, two, three. Wow. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you want that to be as even as possible and be just a little shimmer behind that we're hearing sort of uh, the background to the to the harmonics. Um, and same idea here. And we're throwing in the tune then with four. on this so that you feel as if these as if you are playing them uh, unrelated to the fact that there's all these notes being played imagine that the right hand were playing all those 12 notes and the left hand was just going so that we don't get caught up in the fact that that again it's that feeling of here's the tune and there's these other notes just sort of flickering around in the background providing a, a little bit of a backdrop to that um, and then s slow down and a nice slow break here get this this moment as we as we move out of that a little lower on the string you know take it take some t take some time there we're, we're getting right to the end of the piece we're now going to hear this for the last couple times this might uh, might bring the volume up a little bit bit of a little bit of a uh, slowing down and anticipation of the fact that everything's changing and we get to this ending which as I was writing the piece actually came as a bit of a surprise to me I as I said the piece sort of grew out of this and I would keep coming back to that and exploring where it would lead me next and we got to this end, and suddenly this this ending appeared and it was a very it was a surprise, a very, a very pleasant surprise. Like I'm, I'm very fond of the ending, but I, I guess as I look back on it now, I think it's, it works very well. I think it's a, I think it's a great ending, but when I was writing it, it kind of came as a surprise. Oh, this is where I was going. You know, this is where it was all leading to. So, um, yeah, we get, we get this. Uh... <laughs> find that a lot of fun to play it's 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 quite nice um and let's see again this is a place where you want to be you know loud and fast and even um and you can practice nice and even um, pay attention to some of these notes because it's not necessarily there's often an extra 
note that you might not expect. So uh, for the most part, the hands are doing the same thing. In other words, if this hand is doing, then the left hand is doing. slightly different because of course the left hand can't do to try to repeat the right hand would be very awkward plus it's, uh, I wanted that D in there and then here for example it isn't it isn't just a straight um, D flat major but in fact there's that G thrown in there as well Again, they're slightly different. And here, again, this is mainly a D major, but for example, we have a G on the top, uh, the top uh, part of the arpeggio. We got that G there. Uh, sorry, and here as well. Watch out for those couple places where there's a G instead of where you might expect an F. Um, and so getting out of it here on these last. And you know there's that that cadence that lets us we can hear yes this is this is the end this is coming up so you can sort of you can you don't want to do too much with that but you you know there's a little bit of extra emphasis. And so this one, where are we? You can start the left hand a little bit early so that instead of waiting If you wait too long, it becomes messy. What you're trying to do is start the left hand early so that we can kind of finish it in time in that. Right, so they wait one, two, one. So we're starting that left hand early. And slowing down a little bit to give us time to get that chord in to, to finish off. Um, on on the beat, as it were. Well, there you have it, passage, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, next episode, I'm hopefully going to finish off finally the uh, arranging green sleeves project. So that should be exciting. And in the meantime, I will see you in two weeks' time. Cheers. <laughs>